2.5 billion people around the world eat street food every day. But despite the importance of this sector, working conditions are demanding, vendors do not make much money, and food safety and hygiene present ongoing issues. What if we could make street food a safe, profitable and nourishing industry? From Kenya, Team Zuhura Solutions. The problem is that the street food sector, it happens to employ so many people, yet it's unregulated and not so many people are giving it enough attention. One of the biggest challenges that we have in the street food sector is the charcoal usage. What you notice that before they start their business, they have to light the cook stove, which ends up emitting a lot of emissions. And this is purely black smoke, uh, leading to pneumonia, leading to frequent coughs, and the itching eyes. It's a big challenge that we're dealing with. One day, I bought a samosa, but one thing that I noticed on that samosa, it had some uh, charcoal stains. Due to the emission from the charcoal, we have another problem where the vendors have to deal with hygiene. So there's an hygiene component. Can I be in a position to provide a working solution that is going to replace the charcoal on the long term? So we sat down as a team uh, thinking about a solution and then we settled on solar. The Alice trolley is uh, purely uh, solar powered. It has a solar panel, which is 150 watt. Then you have a battery, uh, which is a lithium ion battery, which is able to store energy and run the trolley for 10 to 12 hours a day. So the Alice trolley is able to heat food up to 95 degrees, meaning that that is food is safe for consumption and we've built an extra revenue stream for the food vendors. They are able to charge at least five mobile phones on a daily basis. So it's not just energy for lighting, we are providing energy that people can earn extra income from that solution. We see them as a very entrepreneurial community uh, and uh, they are very innovative, they are very ambitious. They show up every day trying to put a brand on the table. If we can provide the Nairobi population, the Kenyan population, the African population with more uh, sustainable uh, and nutritious meals, then we want to keep going. So that's the whole idea.